While you may have heard a lot of things about Mexico, from the food, history and culture, to the scenery and friendly people, there's a tapestry of hidden wonders waiting to be explored. So let's dive into the adventure as we disclose 20 surprising facts about this vibrant nation that might genuinely amaze you. Let's go! Number 1. Mexico has almost 7,000 miles of coastline. If you wonder what makes Mexico famous, many might mention tacos, tequila and beautiful beaches. However, Mexico offers much more than that. An interesting fact is that Mexico has more coastline than land borders, making it quite unique. The country shares borders with Guatemala, Belize and the US with a lengthy 1,950-mile border with its northern neighbor. What's amazing is that depending on where you are in Mexico, you can dip into the Pacific Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, the Sea of Cortez, also known as the Gulf of California, the Bay of Campeche and more. There are also stunning lakes like Lake Chapala and the enchanting Bacala Lagoon, often referred to as the Maldives of Mexico. Number 2. Mexico's real name is not Mexico. Mexico is officially called the United Mexican States or Estados Unidos Mexicanos in Spanish, not just Mexico. It's not just one place, it's like a team of 31 states, each with its own special culture, history and traditions. Just like how different states in the US have their own rules and police, it's the same in Mexico. And here's a fun thing, when in a different state from the one you live in, your phone is practically always roaming, showcasing the extensive diversity and expansiveness inherent in Mexico as a country. Number 3. Mexico has the most cenotes on earth Mexico is famous for its stunning cenotes, which are essentially natural freshwater pools. There are approximately 6,000 cenotes in Mexico, with the majority located in the Yucatan Peninsula, forming the largest underwater cave system on Earth. Number 4. Americans in Mexico Despite the negative coverage of Mexico in mainstream US news, it's interesting to note that the largest foreign-born population in Mexico consists of US citizens. In 2022, the US State Department reported that 1.6 million Americans have made Mexico their home and this figure continues to rise each year. A 2019 report from Business Insider also highlighted a trend of more Americans choosing to move to Mexico than the other way around. What makes Mexico special is not just a one-way street. Americans love it for its awesome culture, beautiful nature, lively communities and a living cost that won't break the bank. Mexico is like a magnet for everyone, whether it's retirees looking for peace or young families searching for exciting times. People thrive all over, from the sunny beaches of Baja California to the busy streets of Mexico City. Number 5. The capital of Mexico wasn't Mexico City until 2016. In 2016, Mexico City's name officially changed. Many thought Mexico City was always the capital, but it was actually Distrito Federal or DF. Even though we often just called it Mexico City, the new official name became CDMX, short for Ciudad de México, to make the city's identity stronger. So when you hear CDMX, it means the capital of Mexico. It can be confusing because the Mexico City metropolitan area lies within DF and parts of the state of Mexico. However, only the inhabitants of DF can say they live in the capital. Number 6. Mexico City sinks around 50 centimeters annually Imagine this, Mexico City, not Venice, takes the spotlight for its rapid sinking, plunging approximately 50 centimeters per year in some areas. Unlike Venice, which is surrounded by water, Mexico City, with its population of 21 million, is located inland. To comprehend this intriguing phenomenon, let's delve beneath the surface. The city rests on the ancient Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan, constructed on the sacred lakes known as cenotes. Although these lakes are now dry, the underlying land remains soft and unstable, contributing to Mexico City's accelerated subsidence. While the city won't vanish overnight, its descent is becoming more pronounced. Number 7. Mexico City has a lot of taxis Mexico City has more taxis than any other city globally, over 140,000 of them. To put it in perspective, even New York City, famous for its taxis, only has about 14,000 of them. Number 8. A Mexican inventor created the world's first birth control Now, let's talk about Luis Ernesto Miramontes Cárdenas, a smart chemist from Mexico. When he was just 25, he helped create the first ever birth control pill in 1951. 
The special pill, called norethindrone, changed how families planned for the future. It became a powerful tool for women all over the world. Number 9. Mexico has women-only carriages in metro In major cities worldwide, transportation systems unfortunately face some level of crime, and CDMX is no exception. Mexico City takes an interesting approach to combat sexual violence on public transport by reserving subway cars exclusively for women and young children, providing added protection for families and solo female travelers. Many metro stations also boast a strong police presence with guards stationed at key locations. Number 10. 69 different languages are spoken in Mexico Did you know that there are 68 indigenous languages officially recognized in the country? Even though most people speak Spanish, Mexican law respects these languages, granting them official status. In this linguistic treasure trove, there are nearly 200 different versions. This makes Mexico one of the countries with the richest linguistic diversity in the world. Sadly, many of these languages are in danger of disappearing, spoken only by older generations in tight-knit communities. Number 11. Mexico has 34 UNESCO World Heritage Sites Mexico proudly holds 34 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, making it the seventh country globally with such remarkable places. These sites fall into three types, natural, cultural and mixed, each telling a unique story about Mexico. From stunning natural reserves like Canan Cayenne to historic city centers like Guanajuato, these places showcase the country's diverse beauty and rich history. Some sites, like the historic center of Oaxaca, even combine both natural and cultural elements. Mexico's UNESCO sites such as Chichen Itza and the agave fields of tequila reveal the incredible achievements of ancient civilizations, making them essential pieces of Mexico's cultural heritage. Number 12. World's Biggest Pyramid Mexico claims the title for the world's biggest pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Cholula, also known as Pyramid Tlachihualtepetl. Located in the charming city of Cholula in the state of Puebla, this colossal structure spans 45 acres and reaches a height of around 180 feet. Despite its impressive size, it might fool you as it looks like a natural hill covered in vegetation. The pyramid's history dates back to the 3rd century BCE, witnessing expansions and modifications by various cultures including the Olmec, Maya and Aztec. And here's a surprise, it even outdoes the famous Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Number 13. Color TV was invented by a Mexican In 1917, in Guadalajara, Mexico, a young genius named Guillermo González Camarena was born. At just 17, in 1934, he filed his first TV patent. By 1940, he created something groundbreaking, the TR Chromatic Sequential Field System. It used rotating color wheels to bring color to TV images. In that same year, he successfully sent Mexico's first color TV signal, gaining global recognition for his pioneering work. Guillermo's inventions changed television history. Number 14. Mexico is not a third world country Back during the Cold War, countries were divided into three groups. The First World, allied with the United States, the Second World, with the Soviet Union, and the Third World for the rest. Despite the term sticking around, Mexico doesn't fit the Third World label. Its strong GDP per capita puts it ahead of many traditionally labeled third world nations. Like any developed state, Mexico offers diverse attractions, modern amenities and exclusive restaurants. On the other hand, the gap between poor and rich is quite big. While some households have a maid and a driver, most others don't even have enough to live on. Number 15. Kids in Mexico don't get presents on Christmas in Mexico, children typically receive their Christmas presents on January the 6th instead of December the 25th. This tradition aligns with Dia de Reyes, also known as Three Kings Day, honoring the three wise men who, according to Christian belief, presented gifts to Jesus. While some households now follow the modern practice of giving gifts on December the 24th, the historical tradition persists, especially as Mexico becomes more urbanized and secular. Number 16. Edible Insects Exploring a market in Mexico may lead you to encounter edible spiders, grasshoppers and scorpions available for purchase. While some may find this unsettling, adventurous food enthusiasts can discover unique and tasty options among these unconventional offerings. Number 17. Mexico's economy is booming Mexico stands out as one of the world's most open economies, characterized by minimal trade restrictions. 
It holds the 15th position globally in terms of overall economic size and ranks 11th in purchasing power parity as per the IMF. Notably, some of Volkswagen's top-selling cars undergo partial production in Mexico, contributing to its status as an emerging hub for research and development. Number 18. Mexico is the fourth most biodiverse country Mexico stands out for its incredible biodiversity, hosting at least a tenth of the world's diverse life forms, more than 200,000 species to be precise. This makes Mexico the fourth most biodiverse country globally, behind Brazil, China and Ecuador. Tourists are drawn to Mexico's varied wildlife, from charming spider monkeys and elusive ocelots to vibrant macaws, creating unique opportunities for encounters with these fascinating creatures. Number 19. A lot of the United States was once Mexico After the Mexico-American War, 1846-1848, the Mexican Cession saw a substantial part of Mexico becoming U.S. territory, including areas like Nevada, Utah, almost all of Arizona, around a quarter of Colorado, half of New Mexico, and even a small part of Wyoming. Number 20. All beaches in Mexico are public Every beach in Mexico is open to the public. A delightful fact for both tourists and locals alike. Whether you're in Cancun, Acapulco, Tulum, Los Cabos, or anywhere else, all the beaches fall under federal ownership, welcoming everyone to enjoy. It's a wonderful display of democracy, offering equal access to the beautiful coastal treasures across the country. Now, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.